test.
ladies and gentlemen, the bridal party have arrived. Let us please stand as they enter. Grace and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all and with your spirit. We have come rejoicing into this house of the Lord for this celebration, dear brothers and sisters. And now we stand with Ian and Dasha on the day they intend to form a home of their own. For them, this is a moment of unique importance. So let us support them with our affection, with our friendship, and with our prayer as their brothers and sisters. Let us listen attentively with them to the word that God speaks to us today. Then with Holy Church, let us humbly pray to God the Father, through Christ the Lord, for this couple, his servants, that he lovingly accept them, bless them, and make them always one. We open with a wonderful hymn. We all know it. It's uh, uh, All Things Bright and Beautiful. Uh, and that's hymn number 685 with the hymn books. They're at the end of the row. Um, and we shall sing together with great joy uh, together.
Be attentive to our prayers, O Lord, and in your kindness, pour out your grace on these, your servant, Ian and Asha, that coming together before your altar, they may be confirmed in love for one another. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. I'd like to invite you to please be seated as we hear our readings from the Word of God. Sit it closer. A reading from the Song of Songs. I hear my beloved. See how he comes, leaping on the mountains, bounding over the hills. My beloved is like a gazelle, like a young stag. See there where he stands behind our wall. He looks in at the window. He peers through the lattice. My beloved lifts up his voice. He says to me, come then, my love, my lovely one, come. My dove, hiding in the clefts of the rock, in the coverts of the field, show me your face. Let me hear your voice, for your voice is sweet and your face is beautiful. My beloved is mine and I am his. Set me like a seal on your heart, like a seal on your arm. For love is strong as death, jealousy relentless as Sheol. The flash of it is a flash of fire, a flame of the Lord himself. Love no flood can quench, no torrents drown. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the responsorial psalm. I uh, ask you to respond with the words, happy the man who takes delight in the Lord's commands. Happy the man who takes delight in the Lord's commands. Happy the man who fears the Lord, who takes delight in all his commands. His sons will be powerful on earth. The children of the upright are blessed. Happy the man who takes delight in the Lord's commands. Riches and wealth are, his, are, are in his house. His justice stands firm forever. He is a light in the darkness for the upright. He is generous, merciful, and just. Happy the man who takes delight in the Lord's commands. The good man takes pity and lends. He conducts his affairs with honor. The just man will never waver. He will be remembered forever. Happy the man who takes delight in the Lord's commands. He has no fear of evil news. With a firm heart, he trusts in the Lord. With a steadfast heart, he will not fear. He will see the downfall of his foes. Happy the man who takes delight in the Lord's commands. Open-handed, he gives to the poor. His justice stands firm forever. His head will be raised in glory. Happy the man who takes delight in the Lord's commands. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Be ambitious for the higher gifts. And I'm going to show you a way that is better than any of them. If I have all the eloquence of men or of angels, but speak without love, I'm simply a gong booming or a cymbal clashing. If I have the gift of prophecy, understanding all the mysteries there are, and knowing everything, and if I have faith in all its fullness to move mountains, but without love, then I am nothing at all. If I give away all that I possess, piece by piece, and even if I let them take my body to burn it, but I'm without love, it will do me no good whatever. Love is always patient and kind. It is never jealous. Love is never boastful or conceited. It is never rude or selfish. It does not take offense and is not resentful. Love takes no pleasure in other people's sins, but delights in the truth. It is always ready to excuse, to trust, to hope, and to endure whatever comes. Love does not come to an end. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I'd like to invite you now to stand as we hear the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. God is love, 
Let us love one another as God has loved us. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, This is my commandment, love one another as I have loved you. A man can have no greater love than to lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I shall not call you servants any more because a servant does not know his master's business. I call you friends, because I have made known to you everything I have learnt from my father. You did not choose me, no, I chose you, and I commissioned you to go out to bear fruit, fruit that will last, and then the father will give you anything you ask him in my name. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Let me first start by saying uh, welcome uh, to everyone gathered here, uh, especially those also joining us via the live streaming system. Uh, it's a great joy and a privilege for me uh, to have been asked to uh, preach at uh, the marriage, or soon to be marriage, of Ian and Dasha. Uh, I, but I must admit I am somewhat nervous to be speaking in front of uh, family and also family to be. Uh, so uh, please don't judge me too harshly. Um, but first I want to say uh, Ian and Dasha, Today is a joyful day as you commit your lives to each other and to God. It is also a joyful day for everyone gathered here in this church and once again watching via the live stream because all of us are present as witnesses, not only to your vows, but also to your joy. We are here today to offer you our loving support for the many years ahead and to promise you our prayers and also our support and our love. Your love and your covenant today act as a witness through which all of us are also strengthened in our own love and our covenant relationship with one another and also with God. This is also a joyful day in heaven where the Holy Trinity of God the Father, Jesus the Son, and the Holy Spirit, together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, and all the angels and saints are jubilant and celebrating your love and this sacrament. They know that your covenant with each other is also a covenant with God, and that it is therefore being blessed by God himself. Today, you are not simply promising to be husband and wife. As we heard in our gospel, you are solemnly offering yourselves as a couple to God in heaven and also to each other. Your relationship is being sacramentalized so that it will not simply be another human contract, but rather a supernatural reality whereby the God who created you now personally blesses your loving union. As a result, special grace becomes constantly available to you both for the rest of your lives together. And you can constantly call upon it as often as you need it, in good times and bad, in sickness and in health, in sorrow and in joy. The marriage covenant which you enter into today is a sublime promise made by both of you to God and also by God to you both. You promise to be faithful to each other 
and to, the de- and to the desires that God has for you. God in turn promises to bless your union and to grace it constantly and abundantly to give you the, dis- to, to give you the divine strength in hard times and to be always faithful to you both. God cannot and is never unfaithful. And so you can be utterly certain that he will always be by your side, ready and eager to give you whatever you need when you need it along the road that you promise to travel down together today. Ian and Dasha, trust in this day. Trust in God's promise to you and trust in this marriage sacrament. Know that God had this day in his divine mind and he desired that one day you would meet and become united in holy matrimony and that that day would be to they, this very moment. Be confident then of the blessing of God and that he will keep his promises to you both always. Scripture emphasizes that you both now become one flesh. This is a biblical expression that means much more than becoming one body. It means becoming one person. It means that as you progress in your married life together, you become more and more of one mind, and more importantly, of one heart. What does it mean to love one another? It means self-sacrifice. It means self-donation. It means giving yourself to the other with no conditions, no strings attached. And yes, sometimes this does mean suffering. Love, as I'm sure many, if not all of us can attest to, is a demanding mistress at times. She demands everything you've got in donating your all to your partner. The beauty of it is that it is not as impossible as it sounds. And you will not go far wrong with God the Father to love you, Jesus the Son to lead you, and the Holy Spirit to inspire you and sanctify you. Added to this, Jesus also gives you his blessed mother to protect you both, to wrap her mantle of motherly love around you, and to intercede for you. All the angels and saints are rejoicing with you today, and they are praying for you both, for your marriage, and for your happiness and holiness together. So let me just finish by saying that all of us today wish you every joy, happiness, and blessing in your new life together. May God bless you, and many congratulations. the centre. Dearly beloved Ian Dasha, you have come together into the house of the church so that in the presence of the church's ministers and in the community, your intention to enter into marriage may be strengthened by the Lord with the sacred seal. Christ abundantly blesses the love that binds you. Through this special sacrament, he enriches and strengthens those he has already consecrated by holy baptism that they may be faithful to each other forever and assume all the responsibilities of married life. And so, in the presence of the church, I ask you to state your intentions. So together, Ian and Dasha, have you come to, to come here to enter into marriage without coercion, freely and wholeheartedly? Uh. Ian, are you resolved to take Dasha to be your wife, to love her, comfort her, honour and protect her, and forsaking all others to be faithful to her as long as you both shall live. I am. Dasha, are you resolved to take Ian to be your husband, to love him, comfort him, honour and protect him, and forsaking all others to be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? I am. Together, are you both prepared to accept children lovingly from God and to bring them up according to the law of Christ and his church? 
like Ian, if you respond after me. Okay. I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare that I know not. Of, I know not. That I know not. That I know not. Of any lawful impediment. Of any lawful impediment. Why I, Ian Martin Irving. Why I, Ian Martin Irving. May not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony. To Dasha Pavlova. To Dasha Pavlova. And likewise, Dasha. I do solemnly, solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare. That I know not. That I know not. Of any lawful impediment. Of any lawful impediment. Why I, Dasha Pavlova. Why I, Dasha Pavlova. May not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony. To Ian Martin Irving. To Ian Martin Irving. Since it is your intention to enter the covenant of holy marriage, join your right hands and declare your consent before God and his church. I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons here present. To witness that I. To witness that I. Ian Martin Irving. Ian Martin Irving. Do take thee. Do take thee. Dasha Pavlova. Dasha Pavlova. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Until death do us part. I call upon these persons here present. I call on these persons here present. To witness that I. To witness that I. Dasha Pavlova. Dasha Pavlova. Do take thee. Do take thee. Ian Martin Irving. Ian Martin Irving. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. To death do us part. To death do us part. May the Lord, in his kindness, strengthen the consent you have declared before the church. May the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, God, who joined together our first parents in paradise, strengthen and bless you in Christ, so that what God joins together, no one may put asunder. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. So I'd like to ask now the best man uh, to bring the rings forward. May the Lord bless these rings, which we bless in your name, so that those who wear them may remain faithful entirely together to each other and abide in peace and in your will and live always in mutual charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs> I give you this ring. I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. With my body I honor you. With my body I honor you. All that I am I give to you. All that I am I give to you. And all that I have I share with you. And all that I have I share with you. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Ian, I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage. I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honor you. With my body, I honor you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you. And all that I have, I share with you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and, of the, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dasha and Ian, it gives me a great pleasure to 
uh, confirm you are now married, okay? And I think it's appropriate to give each other a kiss of peace. And maybe the people here present can congratulate you. Uh, <laughs> With our hearts filled with joy, let us now stand as we sing together from the sheets the hymn of joy. Let us remain standing as we pray together for our newly happy married couple. Dear brothers and sisters, as we call to mind the special gift of grace and charity by which God has been pleased to crown and consecrate the love of our sister Dasha and our brother Ian, let us commend them to the Lord. That these faithful, uh, these faithful Christians, Ian and Dasha, newly joined in holy matrimony, may always enjoy health and well-being. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer, that he will bless their covenant as he chose to sanctify marriage. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for this bride and groom, for their well-being and as a family. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer, for all their relatives and families, and for all who have assisted them Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all families throughout the world and for lasting peace among all people, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all family members, especially those who have passed from this world, for all the departed, and in a particular way, we pray for Maria Pavlova. 
Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the church, for the holy people of God, and for the unity among all Christians, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, who are present in our midst, as Ian Union, accept our prayer and fill us with your spirit, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. So as everybody remains standing, ask the, uh, uh, the groomsmen just to, to bring the kneelers together as we move to the nuptial blessing. Okay, so now we have the nuptial blessing, a blessing for Ian and Dasha, the newly married couple. And so we pray. Now let us humbly invoke God's blessing upon Ian and Dasha, that in his kindness he may favour with his help those on whom he has bestowed the sacrament of matrimony. O oh God, who by your mighty power created all things out of nothing, and when you had set in place the beginnings of the universe, formed man and woman in your own image, making the woman an inseparable helpmate to the man, that they might no longer be two but one flesh, and taught that what you were pleased to make one must never be divided. O God, who consecrated the bond of marriage by so great a mystery, that in the wedding covenant you foreshadowed the sacrament of Christ and his church. O God, by whom woman is joined to man, and the, companionship that, and the companionship they had in the beginning is endowed with the one blessing, not forfeited by original sin, nor washed away by the flood. Look now with favour on these your servants, joined together in marriage, who ask to be strengthened by your blessing, Send down on them the grace of the Holy Spirit and pour your love into their hearts that they may remain faithful in the marriage covenant. May the grace of love and peace abide in your daughter Dasha and let her always follow the example of those holy women whose praises are sung in the scriptures. May her husband entrust his heart to her so that acknowledging her as his equal and his joint heir to the life of grace he may show her due honour and cherish her always with the love that Christ has for his church. And now, Lord, we implore you, may these your servants hold fast to the faith and keep your commandments, made one in the flesh. May they be blameless in all they do, and with the strength that comes from the gospel, may they bear true witness to Christ before all. May they be blessed with children and prove themselves virtuous parents, who live to see their children's children, and grant that reaching at last together the fullness of years for which they hope, may they come to the life of the blessed in the kingdom of heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. If you stand. Let us now pray together in the words our Saviour gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. May the God, our the eternal Father, keep you of one heart in love for one another, that the peace of Christ may dwell in you and abide always in your home. Amen. Amen. May you be blessed in your children, have solace in your friends, and enjoy true peace with everyone. Amen. Amen. May you be witnesses in the world to God's charity, so that the afflicted and needy who have known your kindness may one day receive you thankfully into the eternal dwelling of God. Amen. Amen. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We now have the signing of the register. I'd like to invite you to be seated as uh, we sign, put it into writing. Thank you.
I'd like to invite everybody to please be standed. Uh, I'm about to turn around. Ladies and gentlemen, I now present you husband and wife. We're now going to have pictures, so those of you who know uh, you need to be taking a picture of, you stay. If everybody else would like to please be a part, thank you. I didn't say that. I didn't 